activate. What's up everybody, today I'm going to be showing you how to speed up your PC, make it run a little smoother and faster, so if you want to play video games or uh, just have your computer run faster in general, I'm going to be showing you all sorts of ways to do that without actually downloading any programs. So uh, the first thing that you're going to want to do is go to your task bar um, and go to computer, right click it, go to properties, under properties go to advanced system settings, under there you're going to see the advanced tab, you'll see performance, click on settings there, um, and then this window will come up. <clears throat> Basically you want to check all the same things I've checked here, um, so these uh, top three and then uh, show shadows uh, basically what this will do is it'll still make your desktop look nice but at the same time it will allow for good performance so if you were to hit adjust for best performance it unchecks all of them versus adjust for best appearance will check mark all of them so this is a good balance between performance and actually having your desktop look nice so you can click apply there and then OK. Uh, another thing you can do is you can close this stuff here. Um, you can go to your start bar and type in run. OK. Um, another way you can get to it is by pressing the Windows key and R at the same time. So if I hold down the Windows key and press R, it'll bring up this. You want to type in MS config and then press OK. This is the Microsoft configuration settings for your computer. Once this comes up, you can go to Startup. And then under this menu is all of the programs that will start up when your computer starts. So what this does is it will lower the time it takes for your computer to start. So the less things you have checked, the faster your computer is going to go. You do have to have some of these checked for your computer to work. For those of you with laptops, you're going to see like a a synapsis uh, mouse pointer don't uncheck that otherwise your t trackpad for your laptop won't work so you can uncheck pretty much everything besides you know your audio control panel this is uh, for League of Legends this is for my AVG uh, etc but everything else you know I have uh, Apple stuff uh, you know Funbox iTunes all sorts of stuff. You can uncheck a lot of stuff on here, okay? And then under Services tab, you're going to want to check Hide All Microsoft Services because you don't want to turn off things that are being run by the operating system. So these are just things that the user has started running. So you can uncheck a lot of these. If you have an iPhone or iPod that you sync with iTunes, you're going to leave Bonjour, anything by Apple, you want to go ahead and leave Checked, otherwise your iPhone won't sync properly and it won't show up that it's plugged in, etc. like that. And then you can click OK on that. The last and final thing that you can do to clean up your computer is to open start go to computer. And then you're going to want to look at uh, your disk drive, the disk drive that has your operating system on it, which is most of the time disk C. Right click it, go to properties. Under tools, you're going to see error checking. This option will check the drive for errors. You click check now, scan and attempt recovery of bad sectors, and click start. It will say Windows can't check the disk while it's in use. Schedule disk check. What's going to happen is if you click schedule disk check, the next time you restart your computer, it will, it will check your disk for you to make sure all the errors and it will clean it up and make it look nice. Um, that usually actually takes an hour to do so if you have an hour or you know you're going to bed and you want to do it just go ahead and schedule it and then you can restart your computer and when it turns on it'll check it but it does take an hour so keep that in mind you can also defrag uh, defragging is optional some I think mine is set to run at 1 a.m. every Wednesday um, you don't really need it weekly so you can change it to monthly um, defragging your disk drive is it helps a little bit but um, the other things I listed do help a lot more so that's it for this video thanks for watching please subscribe to my channel like and comment on this video if it helped you out and I'll see you guys later bye